CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 21 through 25. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 21. A web designer aims to safeguard a new web platform against brute force attacks. Which of the following best practices would be most effective in achieving this objective? The answer is C. Password lockout. Password lockout is a security measure that temporarily disables an account after a certain number of unsuccessful login attempts. This is effective against brute force attacks because such attacks rely on making numerous login attempts with different password combinations to gain access. By implementing a password lockout, the system can stop these attacks by limiting the number of tries, making it significantly more challenging for attackers to guess the correct password within the allowed attempts. Question 22. Following CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology, what action should be taken if a technician fails to find and implement a solution? The answer is A. Escalate as necessary. Escalate as necessary means that if a technician is unable to resolve an issue, they should pass it on to a higher level or more specialized team or individual. In the context of CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology, this ensures that problems are addressed by those with the appropriate expertise or knowledge, ensuring efficient resolution and minimizing downtime or further complications. It recognizes that not every technician will have the answer to every problem, and escalation ensures the issue gets the attention it requires. Question 23. Which of the listed programming languages would be employed to generate a query from a database that integrates with a web application? The answer is C. SQL. SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, is the standard language for managing and querying data in relational databases. It allows users to retrieve, insert, update, and delete data. In the context of a web application that integrates with a database, SQL is employed to interact with the database, fetch data, and perform various database-related operations. Question 24. When working with IoT devices, which of the listed OS types is most commonly employed? The answer is A. Embedded OS. An embedded OS is a specialized operating system designed specifically for running applications and functions on devices where system resources, like memory and storage, are limited. IoT devices, such as smart thermostats, wearables, and smart home devices, often have constraints on power and memory. An embedded OS is optimized for these conditions, ensuring efficient operation, quick response times, and minimal power consumption, making it the most suitable choice for IoT devices. Question 25. A summary of staff members entering a data center outside of regular working hours is compiled by examining log records relative to standard business times. Which of the following best characterizes this situation? The answer is A. The relationship of data to creating information. The concept, relationship of data to creating information, pertains to how raw data is transformed into meaningful insights or structured information. In the context of the situation described, raw data from the log records is analyzed in relation to standard business hours. This analysis turns the raw log data into a structured report or summary, which provides clear information about staff access patterns. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.